How are we all doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping to Asda. Come and have a look at what I've got. Since this was new, so I thought I'd try it. Heinz beans, well, I, I've never seen it before. Heinz beans, Richmond pork sausages. Yes, a little a traffic light system for half a can in the nutrition. 415 grams and, um, well, Beans and sausages, serving suggestion. So yeah, the price. As soon as I seen this, I seen it on Instagram, I thought it's gonna be expensive and it was, it was two quid. Two quid, you're having a joke, Heinz. Surely you are, two quid. Now I've done, a, I've done Heinz beans, I've done a comparison a, a year ago. And they were £1.70, that was Heinz beans with just pork sausages. So they've gone up 30 pence, but these are Richmond pork sausages. The nation's favourite, apparently. But are they though? So I've done, I've done a comparison with Heinz beans, Branston, I did Stockwell, and as to just essentials, and I'll, I'll put that link in the description if you want to have a look at it, but goodness me, I'll say no more on that one. Two quid, elephant in the room, straight out. That's just a joke, isn't it? Heinz, is, just everything with Heinz is so expensive. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about it. I feel like I'm getting tired of going on about the extortionate prices of name products. So let's take a look at the tin. So yeah, so there's, it. like I said, a half a can. Some nutrition, 415 grams. One of your five a day, low sugar, high protein. I notice it has a ring pull as well. <laughs> Good. So there's more nutritional information there if you want to have a look at that and pause it. Go ahead. So I've got some spiel there at the top. Um, Heinz, it's got beans, beans, and bangers. What's better than bangers and mash? Bangers and beans. So there's the ingredients there. The allergens are wheat and soya and sulfite in there. Now, it's, this is where it gets a bit funny. The pork content. Have a look at the pork content of the sausage. 42%. So that is that is very low, isn't it? Now, I'd, I've done Richmond sausage um, reviews before, and it's 42%. So I had a look. I went back at the video, my comparison, and I had a look at Heinz beans with pork sausages, and the pork content is 55%. So you're actually, you, you, you're paying here more for less. Now, where does we hear that often? Paying more for less. So you're getting less pork. Now, who knows what pork you're getting? There's another debate. But I thought I'd mention it. In the normal Heinz beans and pork sausages, it's 55%. Yeah, we're getting 42. So that is bang on Richmond pork sausages. So you can do it in the microwave or you can do it on the hob. It's up to you. You know, it depends what you want to do. So let's get this open and uh, see what we have got. Well, I know what we're getting. I think Branston, I, I preferred the Branston ones. I think they've got 65% pork. 65%, I think even the Asda Just Essentials are on 55%. But they were, they were 40, 43 pence. I think they're 47 now. So you can get, yeah, so it's three times less. So that, that's what you get. Yeah, I'll get them in here. I'm doing them on the hob. I'll get one out. We'll have a look. I'll get a sausage out. You can have a look at it. I'll get all that in there. Uh, there's your little anemic looking devil. That's what you get. Wow. So how many do you get? You get one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight in there. We will count them when I warm them up. Right, I'm going to get it on the hob. So let me know how much these are in your supermarket. I know we're up north in Cumbria and things to, seem to be a bit cheaper. A bit cheaper up north. So let us know how much it is where you are. And if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up and we'll get the video pushed out to further audiences 
and um, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you. So they're done. I've just sort of gently warmed them on the hob. I'm going to get them in the uh, in this bowl now. We're going to have a look at them. We're going to try them. Yeah. Get them all in. That's them all. Yeah, beans and um, pork sausages. They don't, the, the pork sausages don't look any different to the normal ones, do they? Just look exactly the same. In fact, they're more, they, they, they look more paler, these ones. Mm. Richmond's. Or Richmond, even. Yeah, and there's haricot beans. That's, that's what you get. <laughs> Let's try them. So there they are. I noticed they do a spaghetti one as well. Spaghetti with um, pork sausages. So am I on the wonk there? I've got this on. I've just put a clean t-shirt on. I don't want to take any chances. How's that? <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. Probably made it worse now. So I'm just going to get straight into that sausage. Try, try the sausage first. In fact, I'll show you the sausage. Goodness me, it's like mush. Um, use my I want to. I want to cut the sausage in half. I want to show you inside. Right. I'll bring you back. I'll take you back down there. I've done it all a bit wrong, this, haven't I? Yeah. So where's me? Where's me fork? Oh, all over the shop here. So that's your your sausage. I'm just going to chop it in half. You can have a look. Have a look inside the sausage. There, that's what you get. Ooh. Ooh, it's just mush. It just totally fell apart in my mouth. Yeah. All right, let's let's reluctantly try some more. Yeah, it's no different to normal, really. Um, it's not like you can go, oh, that's Richmond's pork sausage. It's just all mush, just fell apart. It's got that, that flavour of the tomato sauce, which just basically gets penetrated into the sausage. And the sausage is just all mush. Tastes no different to normal ones. No different at all. There's your beans. Sweet. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> but the Richmond sausages, not any old sausages. 42% pork. So the 58% of your sausage is made up of fillers and all sorts of stuff that you don't really want to be eating. But we do. So let me let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, um, it's it's up to you. The two quid, if you want to, you want to pay that. You pay that. We're all different, you know. If you've been on Heinz all your life, it's all you've been eating. A lot of people don't like strain off the garden path, do they? Go for name brands, and they're all there, right at right at eye level. The name brands. All the other brands, are, the cheaper ones are at the bottom, or they're out the way where you can't see them. They want you to go, go straight in there and buy the name brands. That's how they make all the money. I'll put that comparison in the description if you wish to sort of view it. It's, it's a year old now, so it's out of date. It's out of date, the price is not shot up. But you can get other brands three, three times less than that. Just as good. More pork. Well, you, you hope you're getting pork, don't you? <laughs> so thanks for watching and subscribing. Do appreciate it. Please keep recommendations coming in. And uh, I'll get back to you on the next one.